Isang magandang lunes sa inyong lahat. Ito po ang October 4, 2021 edition ng The Stock Market Today. At 82 days na lang, Pasko na. Ito po ang inyong lingkod, Benji Chidoro. Ako po ay isang retired bank officer na nagsimula mag-invest sa Philippine Stock Market noong 2007. At ginagawa ko po itong report araw-araw na sinimulan ko po ng Agosto nung nakarang taon. I also report the latest news on your favorite and most active stocks. If you like the content, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. If you have stocks in mind that you want reviewed, please comment on the comment box and I will prioritize. Ang ating financial news ay tungkol sa San Miguel Food and Beverage kasama po ang ating financial headlines at ang resulta ng trading sa ating PSE ngayong araw, ikaapat ng Oktubre, 2021. Dito lamang sa The Stock Market Today. Okay, so let's start with our headlines, and this is from PDO Securities. In the macro news, Philippine factory activity hits six-month high in September. And then we have House approves on second reading proposed 5.24 trillion national budget for 2022. So ang kulang lang dito yung Senate, ano? And then the third is BSP said that the poll spending to bump up GD, GDP growth by 0.5%. So yung uh, eting fiscal, fiscal policy natin. So according to the BSP uh, Governor Ben Jokno, the bump to GDP stemming from the May, 22, May 2022 elections is seen at 5.5% against the previous elections which contributed 1% to total GDP. So, spending po ito, fiscal spending. Well, more on fiscal and uh, consumer spending which will spur economic activity. And then we have our sector and news, FB to shut down meat business in Indonesia. Ito yung San Miguel Food and Beverage which is our main news. And uh, in other sectoral news, MWC secures bulk water supply deal in Pangasinan. Then banks, bad loans com uh, continue to pile up. So we'll be taking a look at the banks later. And finally, we have Filipino travel plans lowest in eight months. Okay, so let's start with our main news item from the Manila Standard, San Miguel Food to shut down meat plant in Indonesia. San Miguel Food and Beverage Inc., the food and beverage subsidiary of San Miguel, is closing down its meat processing business in Indonesia as part of rationalization. SMFB said in a disclosure to the stock exchange PT San Miguel Foods Indonesia, a 75-25 joint venture between the company and PT Hero in Tiputra, would cease operations on October 31, 2021. The company said the decision would enable it to streamline its business and focus on expansion in the Philippines. No other details were disclosed, including impact on overall business. PTSMFI produces the market's halal processed meats, which are sold under the Farmhouse and Vida brands. So, Ang commentary naman ni BDO Securities dito is that based on their estimates, PTSMFI accounts or SMFB accounts for small part of FB's total earnings and we think management's focus on expansion in the Philippines will help, will help sustain its market leadership in the country. We have a buy rating on FB with a target price of 100 so, tignan po natin ang FB mamaya. Pagkatapos, um, tignan naman natin ang nangyari sa Philippine Stock Exchange Index. 
The Philippine Stock Exchange Index dropped on Friday but today it gained 37.29 points or 0.54% which makes our index still bullish and all our indicators are under the candlestick which would indicate a bullish trend. RSI is above 50, that's 57.21 indicating a bullish trend or a bullish upward uh, trend on the stock. And yung sa market summary naman, 93 companies advanced, 93 declined while 55 remained unchanged. The All Share Index also advanced by 0.50% or 21.68 points. The financials holding companies, mining, properties, and services were up, led by mining at 2.06%. The loan loser was the industrials at 0.31%. On the market status, let us review the following via technicals. Let's review SMFB or San Miguel Food and Beverage, MWC, BDO, BPI, Metrobank, RRHI, DDMPR, and MBRIT. So we'll be reviewing utility companies, banks, and uh, the REITs with the loan exception of, uh, well, RRHI and FB are the loan exceptions to those. So let's now take a look at FB. FB is just moving sideways, ending at 75.25 or point or 70 centavos down, 0.92%. But it continues to move sideways, but our indicators are under the candlestick, which would indicate a bearish to sideways movement. Yan po yung support natin at 74.30. And resistance is nearest would be here at 81.90. When I talk of support and resistance, these are not the exact points, but these are areas. RSI is bearish at 37. And then, tignan natin si MWC. I think this is going up. Yan. Naku, nagkaroon siya ng surge. Menus kaya dito. Kaya nagkaroon ng surge. Ah, yung commentary on the Manila Water Bugs Bulk Water Supply Contract from Pangasinan. So, tingnan natin yun yung news item na yun. MWC was awarded a 25-year bulk water supply. So, kaya nag nagkaroon ng surge sa kanyang stock price. It's looking to invest $8 billion for infrastructure to supply 200 million liters per day. By the end of the concession, MWC will develop, secure, and finance, build, and operate, and maintain a bulk water facility within the province. Okay, neutral yung rating niya, and analysis niya is that bulk of the revenues is derived from the Manila concession. Pero yung nag-surge in price today with volume, ano? So this would indicate a further uptrend in the coming days because of this green engulfing candlestick with our indicators right under the candlestick since September 24. So, meron siyang volume today which would make the stock bullish uh, which, which would mean a breakout rather and since our indicators are under the candlestick it would make the stock bullish. Meantime, ito yung break niyang resistance at 1878 and this is the highest already since uh, this is a 52 week high. Yung 1980 ni MWC. Tingnan natin yung one week chart. Yeah. Okay, this is the highest since October 14, 2019. So pre pandemic yung, yung source natin dito. No? And it is approaching resistance levels based on 2019 so 2020 2047 for your next resistance level yeah based on the one week chart and it continues to move upwards with rsi at over bought na po at 76 pero kung titingnan naman po natin ang dmi niya 
BMI niya should be over 30 in the 2160. So overbought na yung stock. It's overbought. But makikita natin in the coming days if there is a definite trend. And based on our short-term indicators and medium trend, either is a definite, uh, there is a definite trend. Okay. And then BDO. So nagpa-pile up na yung um, bad loans. Ano? So tingnan natin si BDO. Kasi ang dapat maka-recover dito is uh, sa index rather is yung um, banks eh, and financial services. Yun ang dapat maka-recover. So BDO is bullish to sideways or sideways to bullish with our indicators yung short and medium term piercing through the candlesticks pero yung la ating long term indicator is slightly moving upwards and is acting as support for the stock. Yun po ang tingin ko dyan. So, yung ating support level nasa M100 po at 110.66. And the resistance, the nearest, would be here at this level at 115. Yun po yung nakikita ko po sa BDO. Si BPI naman. Yung top 3 bucks. BPI is bearish. So, yung ating mga indicators are above the candlestick with RSI at 42, which is a bearish number. Kaya yung support level ni BPI, ano yung dito po, no? Ang target level po ni BDO Securities dyan sa BPI is at 103 or 27% upside. Kasi right now, nasa 81 po siya. So, yan po, no? 80.25 yung support level. And the uh, resistance, the nearest resistance would be at this level here. At 83.50 to 83.60. CMBT naman. The next bank. Okay, MBT had a, an engulfing green candlestick, although there is no volume. So, marring market sentiment lang to. Metro Bank encourages use of safer debit cards. So this is one way to go. Bearish to sideways pa rin ang kanyang movement. Actually, more on the bearish side. With RSI neutral at 50. Ngayon yung support level niya ay nandito po sa area ng to. Nasa 43, almost 44. Yung um, support level while the resistance is at this level here. At 45.50 to 45. 60. RRHI is next. Si RRHI naman. Uy! Look at that. Robinson Retail Holdings. Nagkaroon siya ng surge today and it is a breakout for RRHI. Another breakout. Okay, may buyback transaction. Tagal na itong nagbabuyback eh. So it pierced through the resistance level here at 53.92. And it went through, actually, ang next resistance level na kailangan yung itest would be at this level here, or area here at 57. Pagka na-pierce niya yan, maaring uh, nagbago na yung trend, ano? Or actually, tumataas na rin yung stock dial under the hour candlestick. But um, the next resistance level that uh, we see for the stock will be at 57. So, na pierce na niya yung current resistance level niya and right now our indicators are under the candlestick with RSI at 78. Now let's check the DMI naman. In DMI is at 21 so overbought po yung stock at 78. Yan po ang aking assessment for RHI. So ingat lang po tayo dito pagka overbought po ay maaaring mag reverse yung trend anytime soon. And then yung REITs naman ang tingnan natin. Tingnan naman natin si DDMPR. Ito yung double dragon na, yeah, nagkaroon siya ng breakout, ano? Kasi yung previous resistance niya, na-break na niya, and there is volume, ano? So we can see some movement on the stock in the coming days. If this volume persists, then we may see the stock moving upward. So yung DDMPR, nakikita na natin lumabas yung 100-day exponential, which is bearish. 
pero it's just touching it, kailangan tumaas pa yan para masabi natin bullish. Ngayon, yung next resistance level na aking nakikita ay nandito po sa 2 pesos. Yan po. But it has been bearish in the past, um, since October, since here, July. So, yung pababa yung ating mga medium and short term indicator. And then, sumama na rin yung 100 day which uh, appeared on August 17, ano? Pero yan po yung nakikita ko, yung resistance niya is at 2 pesos while its current resistance was broken at 187 with RSI bullish at 67.81. And then finally we have Emrit. Ito yung kalilist lang ng October 1 or October, October 1. Yan, okay. So it's a second green candlestick. 16.10 po yung IPO price nito, but it has been moving upwards. Ano bang news natin dito? Tignan nga natin kung meron siyang news dito, yung material information transaction ng subject dito. Wala siyang sinabi. Please see attach stabilization agents weekly report. Okay. So now, I don't know what that is actually. So tignan nga natin yung 15 minute chart dito. Yan, it has been moving up based on a 15 minute chart. But um, in the first uh, few minutes of trading, ay tumaas siya on the first day. Tapos nag-profit nag, um, taking. Tapos yung um, first hour ay tumaas rin before stabilizing at 17.40. But uh, based on a one day chart, I cannot tell you what the support and resistance is because we have just two candlesticks of data. Yan po ang ating report sa stock market, ikaapat ng Oktubre, dalawang libo, dalawang put isa. Ito po si Benji Chidoro, nagpapaalala, an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Maraming salamat sa inyong pagsubaybay at hanggang sumali. God bless and bye for now.